welcome back to another video. Just wanted to introduce you to our new little family member. This is Loki. Say hi Loki. Say hi to everyone. He is a gorgeous little boy, Tabby Cat. Let me put him down. Okay, so the reason you're all here today, obviously you've seen the title. And um, a couple of weeks back we made a video about the Dalgona whipped coffee and you should be able to find that up here somewhere and um, click on that go back watch it see how to make that that was pretty awesome so today well we've come up with some variations of the Dalgona whipped coffee and I'm going to share those with you today so without further ado let's get started okay so the first one I want to try with you today is going to be the strawberry whipped Dalgona. What you're going to need is you're going to need some double cream to whip up um, and for each of these it's going to be half a cup of whipping cream or double cream. Um, half a cup equates in the UK to 250 mils roughly and we're going to use here some strawberry Nesquik um, strawberry flavoured milkshake powder. Um, in the UK we have Nesquik, probably have Nesquik maybe in the US or, or some of the other countries around the world. Right, let's get started. So, I'll take you in for a closer look. Okay, like I said, we're gonna have two tablespoons of our strawberry powder and one cup of double cream. Now what we're gonna do, is we're just gonna whisk that until it becomes thick. Thick, 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 thick is what we're looking for. We wanna get those nice dalgona peaks. You can get as much air in there as you possibly can. So let's go. And there we go, nice stiff peaks. Next thing we need to do is we need to get ourselves a glass of milk. And what we want to do is we want to spoon that um, mix on top of our um, milk. So let's go. Beautiful. go okay this next one this next one is good this one is an acquired taste and it's peanut butter now you need to use smooth peanut butter for this so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna bring you in and show you exactly what we're gonna do okay so with this one Good big lob of peanut butter. Let's use the whisk to get that off. There we go. This one is going to be epic. Now, if you don't like the taste of peanut butter and you want to make it a little bit sweeter, you could always add a teaspoon of sugar. I'm not going to do that because I like peanut butter. So in we go with the whipping cream. Now this one, you need to be a little bit careful because the peanut butter is thick. So what you want to do is stir it slowly in the beginning because you want to get that peanut butter to break down a little bit. And once it does, you'll find 
that it whisks just like the rest of them. And here we go. This one doesn't take as long as the shrubber one because the peanut butter is already really thick. But as you can see, this one is getting thick already. A light tan colour. Really, really nice. Look at that. That is beautiful. And just like before, our milk. I'm just going to use the spoon that we used for the peanut butter. Really get that on there. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, a little bit too much milk in there, I think. Okay, that brings us to the third and final one of today. And this is probably the most adult variation that we're gonna to do today. This one is definitely, um, definitely more so an acquired taste than the peanut butter. It is matcha green tea. Um, I had to order this off of Amazon. Um, I'll leave a link to that in the description uh, because I couldn't get it in any supermarket locally. But I really like matcha green tea and if you like matcha green tea then this one is perfect for you so let's get back in there and I'll show you how to make this one okay just like before so with green tea powder you're not going to need as much so one tablespoon of the matcha green tea the smell of this stuff is amazing. This is the one we're using today, is the Pure Chimp uh, Matcha Green Tea. It is ceremonial grade Japanese green tea. Okay, here we go. Let's get that one cup of cream and we'll get our whisk. And this. This one is definitely an adult style that I'm gonna whip to drink. This is gonna be amazing. Just like before, we're going to get our milk. I'm going to spoon this lovely, thick, green, velvety, matcha green tea milk on top. And this one, oh, I say this one actually smells amazing. matcha green tea amazing stuff it smells beautiful okay what comes next is I'm gonna try all three of our coffee our, they're not coffee I don't know why I said coffee one of them is even tea we're gonna try it out they're gonna whipped drinks and see how they taste so okay so let's try our whipped coffee uh, our whipped, I keep saying whipped coffees I can't help it I don't know why let's try our whipped drinks I'm going to start with the peanut butter one. Okay, mix that into a bit of milk. Mmm, I love peanut butter. That, oh, is so nice. Um, you don't want to mix um, crunchy peanut butter, definitely not. Only use smooth. 
that is really nice, really velvety, really peanutty, really smooth. Like I said, if you like it a little bit sweeter, add a teaspoon of sugar or two, and um, yeah, just enjoy. Oh, amazing. Next off, we're gonna try our strawberry. Like I said, you can make this with chocolate powder or banana or any other milkshake powder you wanna try. Looks absolutely amazing. It's really refreshing. And don't forget, if you wanna be really fancy, you can decorate these however you want. Uh, you can dip the um, edge of the glass in like colored sugar, do some fancy designs of strawberries or strawberry sauce on top or anything you want really. But this, mm, it's like a really, really indulgent strawberry milkshake. Absolutely amazing. And last but not least, we have our matcha green tea. This one is a lovely pistachio green color. Mix that in with a bit of milk. Oh, that's amazing. If you like matcha green tea, you're gonna love this, especially on a hot summer's day. Really refreshing. It's like a tea milkshake, it's amazing. Um, oh, it's thick, green and velvety, and absolutely amazing. I really recommend trying these, and um, trying some different variations. Um, I recommend making the strawberry one with maybe a different color, milkshake, chocolate, banana, whatever. Peanut butter one is amazing. Um, two would be really nice on top of that, would be some, maybe some toffee sauce or something like that, that'd be really nice. More like a peanut brittle than like a toffee peanut brittle. That'd be amazing. And yeah, just try them. They're amazing, the matcha green tea is amazing. What more can I say? Okay guys, that is our video today. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave some comments down below. Let us know if you tried any of these and what you think of them. And um, give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Um, let us know what sort of videos you wanna see from us. And yeah, that's all I've got. I'm gonna go now and I'm gonna enjoy the rest of these Dalgona Whip drinks. They are amazing. You should try them. You should hit that subscribe button for more videos from us. And we will see you really, really soon. Bye. I'm standing in the corner I see you from across the room It's kind of crowded here But I know you see me too Everybody's singing the whole Everybody's singing the whole I don't know what it is about you